Hello everyone and thanks for tuning into my channel. Today, what I actually want to talk about is low back pain. Now we got through all of the red flags and we got through all of the diseases and some of the bad things that could happen to the low back. Today, let's actually talk about injury. What's the most common type of low back pain that people experience? And chances are, again, if you're watching this video, you probably have low back pain and you wanna know why you're having this low back pain. So let's get started. So the most likely cause of back pain is due to postural compensation. You're probably sitting in a poor posture or you just have a poor posture uh, no matter what you're doing, whether you're standing, sitting, walking around, there's something going on that might you might not be aware of, but it could be causing some kind of uh, changes in your body and that will result in low back pain. So the spine moves in unison. The spine is a it's pretty much an entire unit. Uh, it will always try to compensate. If one part of the spine isn't moving as well as it should, the other parts of the spine will compensate to, uh, or, or will move to try to compensate for that lack of motion by creating more motion in different areas. That's basically what the spine does. Now, when you have a poor posture, the body stabilizes, the body will stabilize that because basically what the body tries to do is the body will always try to stabilize itself in whatever position it's always in because it wants to protect itself that's that's its nature the body's nature is to try to protect itself from harm even though there is not that much possible harm that could happen but the body still will still try to stabilize that and if you're constantly in a poor posture the body thinks this is what is normal because this is what it's accustomed to and then it will then stabilize in that position so the body stabilized in a constant position. So now I'm going to pull up the app that I pulled up in the last video. This is Essential Anatomy. So I'll use this model here to showcase what I'm trying to talk about. Now, as we can see here, we have the skull at the very top. We got the neck, the mid back, the low back, and kind of like the pelvis at the very bottom. So as we can see, if I just rotate this around, you see that here up in the neck, I'm just gonna tap on a vertebrae. So that's a cervical vertebrae. That's basically uh, the cervical spine is the neck so the cervical region is bare it's just the spine right and if we move down we see that the low back also known as the lumbar region the lumbar vertebrae is also bare however when we go to the middle of the spine here we see that the thoracic vertebrae is not bare we get 12 sets of ribs so basically what the ribs do is they provide a lot of stability for the thoracic spine or the mid back we rarely hear about um, mid back disc herniations or mid back strains or mid back pain is usually always neck or low back pain. And that's because when you look at it, there's no ribs or anything that kind of would stabilize the neck and the low back. In the mid back, we got the ribs. So that creates a lot of stability, but also due to that stability, we also tend to have a lack of mobility. And where there's lack of mobility in that mid back, the neck and the low back will then move to compensate for that lack of motion. So Let's go back to our notes here. So as we can see here, the low back and the neck move to compensate for the mid back and the pelvis and the hips. Because we are talking about the low back today, we'll talk about the neck in later videos. So the low back is right between the pelvis and the hips and the mid back. So the mid back, as we saw in that diagram or in that model, um, due to the ribs in that mid back, there's a lot of stability, but that also creates a lot of immobility. There's not a lot of mobility in that area. So the low back has to compensate for that. Now, lower down, the pelvis is also this, um, it's pretty much just almost this one whole unit. There's a little bit of motion, but there's not that much motion. And a lot of people, especially, they don't have a lot of mobility in the hips either. So then they will compensate for that using the low back. And then what tends to happen is, an increase in motion in that low back leads to muscle spasm because the body's main goal is to protect the spine. If the spine goes out, you're out. You're pretty much done. So it wants to protect the spine. So when it senses that there's more motion than what should be happening in that low back, the muscles will spasm in order to protect the spine. And that's what's causing the low back pain. So what can we do about the low back pain that we're having from a postural, um, due to a postural reason. So first of all, improve posture. If we sit up straighter, if we kind of stretch out a little bit and we try to protect that low back no matter what we do, um, it will 
um, kind of reduce the chances of you having low back pain. You just gotta get that mid back and the pelvis moving a little bit more and that's what stretching is for. You gotta find ways to stretch that out so that um, basically what's supposed to move is moving and that everything kind of moves in unison rather than only certain areas of the spine moving and certain areas not moving and then that ultimately leads to uh, areas of the spine that are moving too much will now have pain. And also reduce sitting time because when you're constantly sitting, your spine tends to start to curve because it's it's natural. Like when we're sitting, we're kind of relaxed and we start slouching a little bit, especially in those that work, work a desk job, they're always slouching. So we want to sit up as straight as possible. Now in the next video, I'll show you kind of exercises and ways that you can uh, incorporate into your daily life that can actually help fix postural low back pain. But in today's video, we're just gonna do a quick recap what we talked about in this video. So again, poor posture leads to the body stabilizing itself in this poor posture because it always wants to stabilize in whatever position it's always in. So the body stabilizes itself in the poor posture. Now, due to that poor posture and that lack of mobility in the mid back and the, the pelvis, the low back and the neck will now compensate for that lack of motion by bringing more motion in those areas. Now, too much motion puts the spine at risk because the body always wants to protect the spine at all costs. And then that leads to the muscle spasms, which then causes the pain that we're having. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a fairly long video, I would think, but um, hopefully there was enough information that um, enough information for you guys to kind of understand um, why you're having this low back pain. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you like the video, don't forget to click that like button, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. And until next time, stay happy, stay healthy and stay alive.